Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. So what is the major product of these reactions? So it is actually a trifluoromethane sulfonic acid ester you can consider reaction with methanol 30 degree centigrade. Actually 25 degree is room temperature. So you may consider it is a close to room temperature, not a very high temperature. Okay, what is the product? So such kind of questions are actually mechanism based questions. So let's go to the mechanism. And here actually we will learn nature of leaving group and what is its consequence? Substitution versus elimination. Now if you look at this molecule, first look at is this trifluoromethane sulfonate. So this is 3 fluorine attached to this carbon. Remember fluorine is actually a very high electron withdrawing group. This CF3 is actually student very high sigma withdrawing group. Okay. And if you say the withdrawing power is second to fluorine. So if you consider the electron withdrawing power or electronegativity, the CF3 electronegativity value is in between fluorine and chlorine. So fluorine is more electronegative compared to CF3 and it is higher electronegative compared to Cl. So from that you can understand so this is actually very strong electron withdrawing group. Okay. Now if you add this group say sulfuric acid means trifluoromethane sulfuric acid is stronger acid than sulfuric acid means it is a super acid. Now so what is the thing? So this actually leaves and resulted in carbocation. Question why? So if a group will be considered as good living group, as I told nature of living group. So this group will be considered as good living group if the negative charge is stabilized. Now this negative charge has multiple ways of stabilization. Option number one, so it can have two equivalent canonical forms. I repeat, two equivalent canonical forms with this 2S double bond O. One I have drawn, another I am drawing. So these two canonical forms. I request you student please draw by yourself. It will help you. Third point. This minus I effect of DCF3 group. Very strong minus I effect. So that helps to stabilize this O minus. Means negative charge very well. Consequently this is actually a good living group. So carbocation is produced. Now if you look at this position, it is also unique. It is benzylic and we know the benzylic carbocations are resonance stabilized means by participation of the double bond. I am drawing one canonical form. I request student you please draw the rest of the canonical forms. Okay. So positive charge will come here. So next time positive charge will come here but then positive charge will go there. So in this way, you please try. So one message is that okay, this benzylic carbocation is resonance stabilized. So 2.1 very good living group. So trifluoromethane sulfonate. Point number two benzyl carbocation. So it's a very stable. So it will be produced very easily. Point number one. Now here this carbocation it has two options. One it can react with this methanol and result in nucleophilic substitution. Primarily if I say it's a SN1 pathway if it undergoes. Now why because carbocation is produced in the first step, second step this methanol will attack. So in this way SN1 means nucleophilic substitution will take place. And what will be the product? The product, final product after elimination of this proton, it will be OME and here this to carbon. Now if I say elimination, actually with respect to this positive charge, this is a beta carbon and it has proton, actually two protons. So one of them could undergo elimination and it can result in this alkene, trans double bond. Yes, trans double bond because trans are more stable compared to cis. So during elimination reaction, preferentially trans double bond is produced. Not only that, this double bond is in conjugation with this benzene rings are stable. Now this is elimination. Remember student one thing, elimination reactions are favored over high temperature. How? So you can expect in this way, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. So 
in elimination from one molecule you can expect two molecules so delta s is positive entropy part positive so if you increase temperature so this side this t delta s part will be more positive and there is one negative sign so it will be a more negative so delta g will be more negative if delta g is more negative reaction is more spontaneous so that is the reason you observe after this session over you observe whenever you write elimination reaction generally they are preferred at high temperature why because high this is entropically favored and high temperature increases this delta g value that is the reason they preferentially carry it out at high temperature but what temperature is given close to room temperature so it is a significantly ambient condition so preference for elimination is less compared to substitution and if i say substitution obviously it's in one pathway so there is actually in this position this carbon is chiral i agree but there will be racemization why because there is a positive charge positive charge means you can expect okay there will be a carbocation formation since it's a carbocation sp2 hybridized planar so this has a vacant p orbital and nucleophile attack when i mean this oe oxygen lone pair attack has equal probability on both of the lobes of this p orbital which will result in racemization that's the reason why sn1 reaction results in racemization so that's why nucleophilic substitution will take place sn1 pathway racemization let's go to the answer so here see no asymmetry is mentioned although this carbon is chiral but no asymmetry mentioned means it's a plus minus or racemization so this is your answer now just imagine if you get this question in your exam how can you solve it less than 30 second very easy you need to understand okay it's a trifluoromethane sulfonate means o s o s o c f3 remember i agree that this cf3 is a very strong electron withdrawing group but this sulfur carbon bond is covalent bond and significantly stronger so how this three fluorine could be substituted by this methyl it is not possible it is a very invalid wrong choice gone now second option you see elimination product i agree but it's a cis double bond just sometime before i have explained preferentially trans is produced in the elimination reaction so this is also a very weak logic but okay now what is the option none of these i'll not say because either elimination or substitution any of this take place so it's gone so what is remaining option e okay so it's not a tough problem it's a confusing problem that which side should i go elimination or substitution for that purpose you need to know this logic what i have explained so i believe it's a very interesting mcq if you know the concept less than 10 second you can answer otherwise it's complicated so this is the overall discussion i believe you have learned a lot so thanks for watching and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and regarding any doubt about the logo of my channel please read this part so see you in my next video. Bye-bye.